Welcome to the Evan Clifton Show. I'm Joe Wambo. Joined now with Evan Clifton, head coach of the tennis teams. And, Coach, uh, talk a little bit about those matches that you guys had last week. And, yeah. boy, what a big one against Al on the men's yeah, side. Yeah, for uh, for both teams, you know, they were very close matches. Uh, on the men's side, luckily enough, we were able to, to pull it out. And it was a very back-and-forth match. Um, on the women's side, unfortunately, we weren't. We, it was just uh, we had quick, easy, early leads in mm -hmm. one, two, and three doubles on the women's side. Um, and then one and two doubles, we just couldn't quite capitalize. One doubles, we got behind. Uh, once we got that early break, we gave up two early breaks right back and then just didn't really recover. Um, and, and hats off to those girls from Alvernia, their number one team. They play really well. Uh, they, they tested us a lot. They returned. Mm -hmm. Uh, they hit returns down the line hard, and, and they attacked us down the line, and they were a little bit more active at the net, and that's why they won. Um, two doubles, we, we started quick like we did on the other courts on the women's side. We had a 5-2 lead, um, and then the other team made some adjustments. They, um, you know, they attacked us at the baseline, and they stopped giving us balls at the net to put away, and, and we didn't have much of an answer for that. Um, so there's certainly some things that we're going to work on this next week in, in practice and try to get cleaned up before we play Hood on Wednesday. Um, but also, uh, three doubles on the women's side took care of business. They got mm -hmm. the early break, and they never let go of it, and, and they cruised to a win there. Um, and then, you know, so we lost 7-2 on the women's side, but we had a lot of really close matches. Uh, Jenna lost at one with one break in each set. Uh, same thing with Kirsten at two singles, one break in each set. Um, and then Christina had a pretty close match. I think it was five and four, five and three at four singles. And Colleen had a close match. She had a, had an early lead, five two in the first set. And the other girl made some adjustments similar to doubles, and, and just we didn't quite recover there. Um, but Nina Brett's got a nice win for us at six singles, which which we sort of expected, mm -hmm. and, and it was nice for her to keep that going. Um, on the men's side, it was similar match, probably even closer. Uh, one, two, and three doubles were all decided by one break. Luckily, uh, one doubles we were able to pull out the win, 9-7. Um, and same thing with two doubles, 8-6. Uh, three doubles, it was a back and forth match. We just, they got the break on us late and we just couldn't really recover. Um, and Brian had a really tough match at one, lost in three sets. Uh, Warren and Lai had a great match for us at two. He came out and just probably played the best singles that he's played all year, uh, one, two, and one. Um, you know, and Doug Vaughn had a tough match, and it was interesting. We had uh, so after after doubles and after our first two singles matches, we were up four one. Mm -hmm. So it was looking pretty good. We only needed that one more right. match to clinch. Brian had just forced the third set in singles, so we were we were looking pretty good. Mike was in a third set um, at, at singles, and so we thought you know we were going to pull those out and. Uh, you know, unluckily enough, we didn't. We mm -hmm. lost those two matches, and then we lost um, lost three singles, and all of a sudden, we were up four one, and now we're tied at four all with one match left. Uh, and Peter Pia was down a set and five two, so it was uh, it was <laughs> it was certainly a dire time for us. We were we were looking at a pretty bad collapse, and uh, you know, something that would have really hurt our playoff mm -hmm. chances. But luckily enough, uh, Peter Pia when. We needed it most. He played great. I mean, he came out and he really uh, he won nine games in a row uh, from that point on. Wow. Won the second set and then ran away with the third set, six one, and clinched the win for us. That was that was huge. That uh, you know that, that was a season season saving win for us. So absolutely, you know, was, Peter has been clutch for us in the past, and it was it was nice to see him step up the way he did. Yeah, you mentioned both of my next two points with Peter being clutch for you guys on the men's side, and then the 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 win against Alvernia starting to develop this playoff picture that we're yeah, looking at. Sure. Talk a little bit more in depthly about both of those guys or Peter, you know, being clinch, clutch for you yeah. and what you're you're gonna need to lean on those situations yeah. as these uh matches continue. Yeah, I mean it was similar um you know, sort of the, the same encouraging signs we saw uh, against Albright, we saw against Alvernia. So mm -hmm. both 5-4 wins and both wins we needed to clinch with the bottom of our lineup. And earlier in the spring, playing the tougher teams, the Juniatas, the Salisbury's, Gouchers, that sort of thing, that was we weren't able to do that. Mm -hmm. It was, you know, we might get some wins at the top, one and two singles or one doubles and, and that sort of thing. Um, so it was nice to see guys like Peter Pia and then and Kevin Sleitner and Peter and Mike against Albright all step up and, and get wins for us in the clutch because ultimately – uh, usually those, bo those bottom three singles matches are the last three on. Mm -hmm. So if you have a very close match that gets down to the very last match, chances are it's one of those three guys that are that mm -hmm. are going to be playing. It's going to be up to them whether we win or lose sometimes. So, uh, And we're going to need that in the playoffs. Alvernia is a very good team that if we had lost to them, uh, you know, they very much could be ahead of us in the playoff picture. So it's a good thing that we got that win on the men's side. Um, 
you know, it's possible we could clinch a playoff spot if, with a win against Hood uh, tomorrow. Um, certainly could do so with a win against Hood and then beating uh, Arcadia next Saturday, Senior Day. Uh, you know, so really we're just positioning ourselves. Hopefully, get that the top two seed mm -hmm. in, the, in the conference tournament. It's what we want. We want a home game, first round of the playoffs. You mentioned those matches from earlier in the season against the Gouchers and the Salisburys. Mm -hmm. What have those experiences done for you in this moment now? Yeah, I think similar to a lot of our out-of-conference schedules, like the, the matches we played at spring break and things with teams that are, you know, we played at D Division II Shepherd and teams that are sort of a little bit higher caliber mm -hmm. than what we play in our conference at the moment, uh, just to help you know, prepare us, get us used to that higher level of play where we've got to play closer to perfect tennis to, to just compete sometimes mm -hmm. so that when we play teams like Alvernia and Albright, especially in the pressure situations, we know, hey, we've, we've already hung with guys tougher than what we're playing mm -hmm. right now, like to give them the confidence to, to be able to relax, go for their shots in the pressure situation. And luckily enough, it looks like it's playing off this, this last week. So you know, we'll need to continue that against Hood and Arcadia and certainly uh, as we head into the MAC playoffs. Well, Coach, I uh, appreciate your time this week and every week, and we wish you the best of luck Thank in these, uh, the schedule that's coming up for you. Thank you very much. He's Evan Clifton. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Evan Clifton Show.